And we're back! I'm Magnus, this is Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, Episode 3! So in the last episode, we uh, we fixed a, a couple of cars, I think. And, um, a pitch of gained a level. So we're going to choose which of these two skills we want. We can either take 50% faster part examination, or 50% faster screwing and unscrewing. Uh, I think I'll go with that one. Sounds useful. That's going to save me some time. Uh, just before the start of the episode, I've sold off all of the broken stuff I had left over from previous fixes. So this is all I've got in my inventory now. It's a brake caliper cylinder and a brake caliper. Both at 100%. Both brand spanking new. Stuff that I bought for previous jobs and didn't actually need. So, um, let's see what the next job is. And let's do this story job for the Emden Lots. A year and a half ago, I bought my son this car. He said he's not interested in anything except filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and tyres. Well, that sounds easy enough. That sounds pretty straightforward. So, we'll take that. And that has arrived. That is yellow and bits of brown. Lovely, lovely rust. This this game does seem to like quite a lot of rust. Okay, we'll get the um, oil change, or at least drain it. First of all, before we go looking for any broken parts. Because that's something we can't really get wrong. So all we got to do is move this to there, press a button, and it's done. Okay, put that back. So, um, oh, we need four standard tyres, an air filter, and a fuel filter. Again, I can't access the shop from the radial menu. Uh, so we'll go on the computer. There was an air filter. Presumably that one. There are lots of air filters though. And a fuel filter, I think. That one. Okay. So we'll buy those. The wheels tyres, whichever it was. I'll have a look at it in a minute. So let's bring that down. Open this up and get to work. So we... Well, the air filter's here. So we'll get that done. Straight away. Take these clips off. Okay, and mount a fresh new yellow air lid back on. Clip, 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 and now we've got to find this fuel filter. It's, ah. Old thing. In the wrong mode. Okay. So that's the filters done. Excellent. Out of the engine. Close the bonnet. We've already established that. Uh, standard tyre B times four. Now I don't know. Presumably, these wheels and tyres can come in different. Sizes, just like in real life. So, I'm going to get the right size. So, it's all four to come off. There's another. Okay. Yeah. 
that was me, I'd be a bit worried about these brake discs, to be honest, but I don't know, maybe rusty stuff actually works fine in a car. I don't know if I'd want to trust it, but for all I know, it could be absolutely fine. Right, so let's check these. 205, 55, R16, ET0. Standard type B. 205, 55, R16. Okay. So the tyre shop here. Standard tyre B. B. So I guess the 205 was the width, and the 55 was the profile, and the 16 would be the rim size, I suppose. So we want f four of those. And then over here, I notice we have a tyre changer, which... Okay, so we can separate take the tyres off the rims. Basically, then presumably we can put the new tyres on the rims. Let's, let's get them all off first. Get them all off. There's two. No smoking in here. No smoking in here. Can't smoke in here because we've got this flammable liquid, which presumably would be petrol. Might be oil, but actually, I think oil is combustible rather than flammable. I did work in a petrol station for a while. I remember diesel was combustible, which is diesel's higher in oil, I think. So um, I'm going to get rid of the crap that we're not going to be reusing, basically. Just to avoid cluttering up my inventory. Okay, so now I'm going to take the old rims, new tyres, and combine them. And another one. While we're doing that, I think we're going to balance going on here. I'm not really sure what that does or what that means. Uh, but it's if there's a if there's a machine for it, it must be important. That's my logic. That's how I'm approaching it. These kind of machines aren't cheap. You're not going to invest in them unless you need them, really, are you? I wouldn't have thought so, anyway. So I'll take that. We're nearly done. Nearly, nearly done. This balance machine takes a, takes a little while compared to the other one. So I've also, um, quite bizarrely, despite my complete lack of interest in cars and complete lack of knowledge of cars, uh, this is a game I picked up a couple of days ago. And another one I've picked up in the last couple of days is my summer car, which I know plenty of people have been doing that on YouTube, although I haven't actually watched any of it myself. Um, so, I'll be putting up some videos of that fairly soon. Uh, if, if indeed there's not any already up by the time this goes up. But, um, 
that as well. Well, that'll be going into completely blind, I think. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen anything of it, really. Um, I haven't played it. I've literally I've bought it. Uh, don't know if I've installed it yet. I think, I think I've think i installed it already, but I haven't played it. So, that'll be uh, interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure what that's about. I presume something to do with... Well, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with building a car, but I... I don't know if it's, you know, just about building cars, there's other stuff. If it's, uh, I know that there's a game called Jalopy, which involves driving through Eastern Europe and picking up bits as you go, I think. Uh, which also I haven't played. Uh, so I don't know if it's similar to that, or if it's more like this. But, um, I look forward to finding out. And this job is finished. Done. Done. D no? No? Oh. Yeah, the oil. I haven't put the new oil in. Okay. Let's do that then. And I've still no idea how much oil I'm supposed to put in. I mean, should I stop when it when the can sort of blows like that? Or do I carry on until it looks like it's spilling? Like that? I really don't know. I'm going to do that for now. And um, hope that's the right thing to be doing. Right. Oh wow, that payout went up significantly just for putting the oil in. I think that's about 700 extra dollars just for doing the oil. So let's do that. Complete that. Excellent. And what else have we got? Uh, brake problems on the Mayan M3. The, the, the Audi, basically. Uh, that's that's an Audi. That's definitely an Audi. Okay, so two calipers and an ABS pump. Two calipers and an ABS pump. Right, so we're going to buy those parts so that we've got them ready. Which I think I've already got one caliper left, so we'll just buy one caliper. Break caliper and ABS. Pump. Pump. It's that one there. I think that's the back bit. Okay, let's sort that pump out first. That's strange. They've obviously had the ABS module replaced fairly recently because that's still shiny. It's still 100%, in fact. Um, the pump looks like it's about. 30 years old, which obviously even the car isn't that old. So we'll give them a nice shiny new pump to match their nice shiny module. Looks like it was installed yesterday. Okay, now it's that done. Move that to the lifter because we can't get at the wheels otherwise. So it's one, no, it's two calipers. Okay. One there. Uh, looks like front left and rear right to me. Yep. Okay. Nice shiny wheels on there as well. It's quite bizarre. So this car seems to be entirely brand new and shiny and fresh off the factory line, but they've got a couple of rusted brake calipers and a rusted ABS pump. It's quite suspect, really. I mean, you know, what are the quality control conditions like at the factory where they're making these? The mind boggles. Okay, so then there is that one over there to do as well. If we can click on it. Might have to walk around. No, nope, there we go, we can click on it. Excellent. Get off. Remove. 
I, I hate how that camera keeps bloody moving when I'm trying to click on stuff. That is an annoyance. So I've got my cursor all lined up perfectly. And the camera goes and moves and I end up trying to take off the wrong part. Anyway. That is another job done. Ah, I think we're getting quite good at this. And we've just got another level there. So now we can have 50% faster part installing and removing. 10% uh, faster walking. Not sure how that would be particularly useful, to be honest. It's not like I've got a big space to walk around in. Or I can have a 5% discount in shops. That sounds worth having. We are running a business after all, so any improvement in the financial situation is going to be very welcome. Uh, let's take one more job for this episode. Uh, this guy's top of the list, so let's take him. Another Emden Lots. He seems to be quite popular. Okay, we'll take that. And this one, something to do with the suspension. This car's from Austria. Now I noticed some of the previous cars were from various American states, and the currency appears to be dollars. So I'm a little bit confused about where this game is set. I guess you could have an Austrian car in America. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Sway bar, tie rod, sway bar. Right. Only three parts. Put on car lifter A. We're going to have to unlock this. So up you go. Alright, let's see if we can see the problems. Okay, that's a sway bar and a tie rod up there, I think. Yeah. One of those has got to be a tie rod. Probably the one that looks like a rod. So anyway, we've got two things at the front and one at the back. So, remind myself what it was. It was a sway bar front end link A, inner tie rod, and sway bar rear end link. So, we'll type in sway bar, front end link A, rear end link, that's what we want. And a tie rod. That one, the long one. Okay. So now, when I get to that, that's where we need to take the wheel off. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, and the inner tie rod. Off. Place that. Fresh new one. Put that back. The other thing was this. And here is its replacement. All nice and shiny now. Put the wheel back on. Otherwise. This car is going nowhere. And let's go back here. Take this wheel off. Presumably. I don't know if we can get to the stuff with the wheel still on. Doesn't seem to have made much difference. There we go. Stick that on. New one. Stick the wheel back on. And there we go. Another job. Well, well enough done. Satisfactorily done. It'll do. If it doesn't fall apart within the first hundred yards, it's probably good enough. Okay, I think we'll leave that there for episode three. And uh, I don't know if I should 
continue to record everything I do in this game or if I should just play ahead a bit off camera and just pick up every now and then when it gets interesting. I guess I'll keep going as is for now and um, see what I feel like doing as we go along. So, that said, that's me signing off for another episode. Thanks for watching.